The Utah Avalanche Center says right now conditions are dangerous and is warning all skiers, snowboarders, and snowmobilers to take extra caution in the backcountry. We are advising people to stay off and out from underneath slopes steeper than 30 degrees that are facing west through north and east at uh, elevations about 9,000 feet and above. Greg says early season snow in the mountains has turned into an unstable granular base that avalanche forecasters call sugar snow. This past week we added about a foot of snow uh, and some wind as well. So it happens we put a strong slab of snow on top of this weaker snow underneath. The combination acts like a rug sitting on a bed of marbles. So it's a really unstable structure and it's really just waiting for something to upset that balance. So it can be a skier, a rider, a snow machiner that gets on a slope and it causes the avalanche. We call it a persistent weak layer and it's called that for a reason because it persists. Even with new snow, Greg says the persistent weak layer can last for weeks and even months. Because of the conditions, the UAC has placed all of northern and central Utah under considerable avalanche danger and considerable means that human triggered avalanches are likely and although some areas may look safe you'll have 10 15 20 tracks on the slope no avalanche and then there's just that one track that hit the right spot and the whole slope avalanches the UAC says people should always have a beacon probe and shovel when heading out for backcountry riding everyone in your party has to have that gear and know how to use that gear so there's proper training that goes along with it. The Utah Avalanche Center offers training for anyone interested in backcountry recreation and updates their forecast daily. We'll link you over to their website at fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.